Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. This is massive news. Disney and Marvel Studios, I can't believe this, have reinstated James Gunn as the director of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol Volume 3. I shit you not. It's all over Twitter. It's all over YouTube. And I'm here for you to bring this news as you knew I would. So why, after sacking him and Bob Iger himself saying we cannot allow people like this to work for us, then bringing him back? Well, this is what I know. Kevin Feige was never happy with the dismissal. One, the actors gave them absolutely no choice. None of these actors were going to come back without James Gunn. So he's back. He's reinstated. Now, DCEU fans, what does this mean for Suicide Squad 2? Nothing. It basically means he has to do Suicide Squad 2, then Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Talk about back-to-back, -back, hey? He's going to be a very, very busy man. So don't worry. Don't worry, um, DCU fans, if you're happy about it. He still does Suicide Squad 2. He, there's no way out of that situation for him. And I'm assuming he's happy to do so. Um, there's no articles at the moment because this is basically breaking news. So there's no, like, there's no other information. But this is unprecedented. Unprecedented. It, it's just amazing. Why did they do it? Why did they get rid of him? Just because of some old tweets eight years ago. Surely they knew of the situation. Now he's coming back. How will people feel about this? How will the fans feel about this? Listen, if I was a diehard MCU fan, I'd be so, so happy about this. You can't bring personal stuff into the entertainment industry. Most people making films have got some dirt somewhere. All he did was make some stupid offensive jokes. They were offensive. They were bad. He did apologise for it. He's back as he always should be. Because the problem is here, Guardians of the Galaxy is his baby. Nobody knows how to do this film apart from him. They were talking about Taika Waititi who did um, For Rangarok, he would have been a great choice. But there's no way, there's no way this film could have happened without James. And this is why they had to get him back. They had no choice. Kevin Feige insisted. I think this could have been a deal breaker for Kevin Feige. And I think they had to do it. Kevin Feige want, wanted, wanted him back. I'm losing my voice. I'm so excited. But Kevin Feige wanted him back. The actors wouldn't do the gig without him. So... Disney were between a rock and a hard place here. And I'm kind of mixed on it. I'm glad he's coming back. But I was excited about him, you know, doing Suicide Squad 2 and also doing some other projects with, within the DCEU. What this is actually mean, does he do this film, then not be involved with them anymore? It's going to be very, very interesting. I would assume that he will be back on Twitter very, very soon. Because we need him to come out personally and explain this situation. He's been very, very quiet. He hasn't made any comments about himself doing Suicide Squad 2. He hasn't yet had any quotes to confirm this situation, but it's happening. It's all over the place. He's back to write and direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Oh, look, I cannot believe it. It, it, this is an unprecedented situation. It, it really is. I, 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 it, never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. No one told me about this. I'm kind of like doing this video and I'm like, oh my God. So these are the bullet points. James Gunn reinstated by Disney and Marvel Studios to write and direct Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But Warner Brothers have made it clear that he must do um, Suicide Squad 2 then come back for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So what kind of um, shooting schedule are we talking about? When would he even be doing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Well, listen, 
I don't know when um, Suicide Squad Volume 2 goes into production, but this is amazing. You've got a guy here who's going to write and direct um, a DCEU movie, then go back and do a Marvel Studios thing. This is, I mean, I've never heard of this before. Um, but we have to look at Disney here. They, they look pretty stupid, don't they? I, 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 after the high moral line they took, we're getting rid of him, and then they had no choice but to bring him back. I said it so many times. You can't do this movie. Even when Kevin Feige was saying, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, we're going to take his script. There's no way. This guy played Harple, not using my script unless you let me come back. That was obvious. But I think it's really good news. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting in the days ahead and the hours ahead what's said about this by him. I think he needs to come back and make an official statement confirming he's doing both movies so neither MCU fans or DCEU fans are concerned about it. And I will keep you updated. Wow, this is amazing news.